All right, so um, this will be our last exercise, by the way, if you're getting tired, so this is good news for you. Um, so this is, again, uh, referring to our air conditioning problem, and you can see here on the right-hand side uh, the sensitivity report tables that we just, that I used to explain for you the different elements of the sensitivity report. So let's see how we use that to answer questions about the solution. Okay, first question, how many of each products the company would do, as, as we uh, explained before? Here we go. This is our optimal solution. Of course, you can go for 10 and 5 and 20 here. This is a, um, a, a feasible solution, but it's not the optimal. So if you want to maximize your profit, this is what you have to do. 80, 120, and 0. And what about your profit? What's that optimal profit? What you can do is you multiply uh, each one of these value by its corresponding objective coefficient. So even if I don't give you the... Even if you don't know the formulation of your model, and I give you only the sensitivity report, you can tell what's the objective function, right? You can tell what's the objective coefficient of each of the, your decision variables. So you multiply this one by that, and this by that, and this by that, which is zero, of course. All right, so here we go. The profit would be, uh, we are multiplying each one by its corresponding objective coefficient, and we get 16,440. Second question, what constraints are binding, as I implied in my demo also, uh, or sorry, in my, yeah, it's in my demo and in the previous slide, that we look at whenever the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, these are binding constraints. So we can see that this constraint is binding and this constraint is binding. So we're talking about, ah, there's something wrong here, guys. I'm very sorry about this. This is the fans, okay? And this is the cooling coils. By the way, you name these. It's not part of the uh, of the software. And this is the man hours. Okay, the man hours. So we can see that the fans and the cooling coils are binding constraints because their left hand side are equal to the right hand side. Then what the quantity used from each resource? Also, I look at the final value. So we have 200 fans used. 320 cooling coils used and 2080 man hours used. Now the company wants to spare some of its resources without affect its, its own profit. Which resource it can spare for a sister company, for example? To answer this question, of course, we look at which resource is not used. Why? Because if I take some of the fans, I'm going to affect my 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 optimal uh, solution because the fans is a binding constraint i have used all what is available for me in order to maximize my profit so i look for the uh, resource that has a slack right which is my uh, man hours i have a slack of what 2400 minus 2080 so slack of 320 right so i can spare 320 man hours what should be done to justify the production of the dlox so we look in the first table because we're talking about decision variable. So DLOX, we can see that it's not part of solution. That's why they are asking this question. And it has a reduced cost of 24. And this is my answer. I have to improve its objective coefficient. So improve its uh, profit contribution by 24. So it should be at least $159 so that it will be part of my solution. Now, Okay, I can do nothing about this 135, but the marketing people, they want to, they want us to produce five items, five units of the deluxe, how this will affect my daily profit. Here, I'm going to use the second definition of reduced cost. So, without changing the objective coefficient, I'm forcing the deluxe, okay, I'm forcing that to be a part of my solution. So, I know that my optimal value will be penalized by 24 times how many units I want to enforce, which is five. So it will be penalized by five times 24. So that will be $120. And question seven, the cost of parts used to make the standard type increased by $5. How would this affect my solution? So we'll talk about this. Is, we're talking here about a, a decision variable, right? We're talking about the objective coefficient, because when we say that the cost of the standard type increased by five dollars, 
how this will affect my model i don't have a cost but yes i have a profit i know that the profit contribution of the standard is 95 when the cost increase by five that means the profit decreased by five so it becomes 90 so there's a decrease of five first of all we need to see that decrease of five is it within the allowable increase and decrease it's a decrease so we compare it to the allowable decrease which is eight so yes it is within the allowable decrease which means that this optimal solution is still valid i will still uh, produce this much but now i can tell that even with this increase in the cost i will keep uh, uh, making the same number of units but of course my optimal value would decrease by how much 120 times 5 which was the decrease in the objective coefficient which is the profit all right question 8 if the number of fans is now 170 can we speculate the new profit so any day we found out that we don't have 200 fans as uh, we used to have but now we have 170 so let's see if this dual price apply 170 that's a decrease of 30 right we have a decrease of 30 so we compare that to allowable decrease which is 40 it is within the allowable decrease which means this dual price is applicable so i know what happened to my optimal value my optimal value because it was a decrease in the right hand side would decrease by 31 okay times 30 31 is my dual price here we go and finally if the number of cooling coils is now 420 again in one day we found out that we don't have 320 but we have 420 would this affect how would this affect our profit let's see so three from 320 to 420 that's an increase of 100 let's compare it to allowable increase 80 it's not 100 so here the, the answer is we don't know we don't know we cannot use our sensitivity report to answer this question so your correct question would be i don't know and this is one of the very rare uh, uh, cases when when you answer i don't know this will be your correct answer all right this will conclude our topic near programming it was a little bit uh, uh, longer than others but it's a very very important tool guys so i strongly advise you to learn it very well Okay, and if you have any questions, you know how to contact me. Thank you.